بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب Knowledge of the religion is one of the most important ways you can come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is one of the best ways to establish a firmness on your religion, to be grounded in your religion. Because the shaitan will come to you with doubts, with doubtful issues, doubtful matters, to cause you to have doubt in your religion, doubt in your faith, doubt in yourself. These whisperings from the shaitan, ayyul ahbab, they can be combated with seeking ilm al nafiya And ilm al nafiya ayyul ahbab, this is knowledge of the religion. It's knowledge of the Qur'an and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu And that knowledge and seeking knowledge should also ha should have an effect upon our hearts. Because as it pains me as I hear another one of our brothers has fallen into uh, being entrapped, but also making very big mistakes by in the speech. And it shows that his speech, his outward speech, is a reflection of his inwardy man as well. And that he hasn't reformed himself, no matter how many ayats and how many ahadith He's memorized, and may Allah guide us in him and forgive us in him, and bless us to reform ourselves. And the Salaf of this Ummah, Ayyul Ahbab, they used to emphasize ilm, because it is from the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam said, Man salaka tariqan yal kalmisuhu bihi ilmin sahalallahu lahu tariqan ila jannah. Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path of paradise. And the Prophet said in another hadith, Man bihi khayran din. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. One of the Salaf, Abu Aliyah, Rahimullah Ta'ala, said, And he died in Mia uh, 190 Hijri, Rahmatullah Alayhi. He said, Libad ashabihi, to some of his companions, Ta'lamu, or Ta'lamu, Ta'lamu al-Islam, Fida ta'lam tumuhu, Fala targhabu anhu, Wa alaykum bi surat al-mustaqeem, Fa inna surat al-mustaqeem al-Islam, Wa la tanharifu, An surat al-mustaqeem, Yameenin wa shimalin, Wa alaykum bi sunnati nabiyakum, وَإِيَّاكُمْ وَهَذِهِ الْأَهْوَى الَّتِي تَلَقِّ بَيْنَ أَهْلِهَا الْعَدَاوَةُ وَالْبَغْضَاءُ Imam Abu Aliya, rahimahullah ta'ala, he said to some of his students, he said, learn Islam. For verily, if you learn Islam, you won't desire anything else. And it's upon you the Sarat al Mustaqim, the straight path. For verily, the Sarat, the, the straight path is Islam. And do not deviate from it to the right or to the left. And you should follow the Sunnah, or it's an obligation to follow the Sunnah of your messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, of your prophet, alayhi salatu wa salam. And beware of those desires that if they befall you, they are what cause enmity and hatred between the people of desires. So ayyul ahbab, it's a warning against bid'ah, innovation in the deen. And it's a warning against going against the Sirat al Mustaqeem. And it's a warning to follow Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and avoid 
ahwa, our desires, and avoid those newly in innovated matters in the religion. Have a sabil, have a sabil Allah. As the Prophet ﷺ drew in the sand, he drew a straight line in the sand. He, he said, have a sabil Allah. And then, thumma khatta an yaminihi wa an shimalihi wa qal, hadhi subur. So the Prophet ﷺ drew the straight line. He said, this is the sabil Allah. This is the, the path of Allah. Made this uh, resemblance of the, the straight path. And then he drew a line on the right and the left, and he said, those are the various paths. And he said, on each one of those paths is a shaitan that calls you uh, away from the Surat al-Mustaqeem, that calls you to Jahannam. وَعِيَادٌ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ So, ayyul ahbab, it's important to remind one another to seek beneficial knowledge, seek it from ahl al from the people of knowledge, to the scholars, that are well known from Ahlul Sunnah and from the students of knowledge that are well known from Ahlul Sunnah and those Imams and Du'at that are well known from Ahlul Sunnah and don't go to the right and to the left and beware the newly innovated matters, innovated matters because they will lead you astray and every leading astray will lead you to the fire وَعِيَادٌ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ that is a deen al qayyimah And that is advice we, we offer to ourselves and to others regarding staying on the Surat al Mustaqim and seeking knowledge in order to affirm ourselves and establish ourselves upon that path. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.